it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas. Uh, shout out to all the people watching this in the future. If you're watching this way after this video is uploaded, uh, it's weird because in my mind right now, you know, this is current. I'm doing this right now, but in your mind, this is this happened a long time ago. And who knows where I'm at? Who knows what I'm doing right now? So I love thinking about that stuff. It's very interesting to me. Uh, let's finish this week off strong. Uh, we've been pretty successful, I would say, so far. Still got the Stealth Boy activated. Uh, we're gonna go over to this quest here. Uh, you can depend on me. Hand the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications over to Alice McLafferty. Let's take a look. Uh, we've got Car uh, Cassidy Caravan's buyout offer. This is an offer letter from Alice McLafferty at Crimson Caravan Company to buy out Cassidy Caravans in its entirety, including equipment, Brahmin, and existing trade contracts from Cass. Um, and then milling specifications. This holotape contains milling and grinding specifications used in the creation of the gun runner's weapons. Uh, which must be really freaking good info, man. Let me tell you what. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get rid of our quest marker. We are done with that. We still have to go down there and talk to Cass, but for now, let's head back to the Crimson Caravan Company and talk to Alice McLafferty. Now, I don't think Alice McLafferty is a good person. What the hell? Oh boy, okay, do not kill me. You got a very cool hat, let me tell you what. Your weapon is in poor condition and can do more damage if repaired. You can repair items in your Pip-Boy or by visiting a vendor. To repair it yourself, you'll need to use parts from a similar weapon. Seems like it works just fine though. Bye-bye. Okay, so that is a fiend, folks. And they're not nice. Uh, and, man, that sucks. This guy's just doing his job, and now he's dead. Uh, but we'll take his leather armor, though. And we'll take his uh, shotgun stuff. And, in fact, can I repair the armor that I've got on now? Oh, yeah, we got... Uh, oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so we got com Combat Armor Reinforced Mark II from the Duffel Bag and the Cazador Nest. Bam. We got Combat Helmet Reinforced Mark II, which is a DT of 5. Compared to the first Recon Beret, which is no, D uh, no damage resistance, but gives us Perception 1, Crit Chance, plus 5. Not sure what would be better. We'll just stick with the beret. The beret's cool. And then, so this is what we look like. God, the turnaround is so slow in this game. But, uh, neat. Okay. Uh, sorry, pal. Wrong place, wrong time. We're always there at some point, aren't we? Alright, so this is where, again, I know I've said this like a hundred times, but... This is where things are gonna get tricky. Uh, we have to make sure that we solve this in a way where we do the most quests that we can possibly do. That's all I'm focused on. So I think first we want to turn in this optional thing to Alice McLafferty, who is right here. Man, with that fancy schmancy suit, you would think she'd be in a more upgraded Welcome bed than back. that. Hi, Alice. I have the Gunrunner holotape. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Oh, very cool. 500 bottle caps. NCR fame gained. Is the Crimson... I guess the Crimson Caravan, Caravan is affiliated with the NCR. I didn't realize that before, I don't think. So that's why we got the NCR cred before, too. Okay, final part here. Uh, so now, we have three quests that all coincide with, you, with each other. And we're missing one that coincides with this as well. You can depend on me, Heartache by the Number, and Birds of a Feather. So, return to Cass and see if you can get her to part with the title for Cassidy Caravans. Negotiate with Cass to buy out Cassidy Caravans for the Crimson Caravan Company. And find Rose of Sherrod Cassidy and get her to follow you. All of these revolve around Cass, who is waiting at the Mojave Outpost. I'm going to try to do this in the best way possible. We obviously want her as a follower uh, for her quest. But, I, yeah, I just don't know how this is going to work. Is she going to want to get rid of her? Caravan Company? I don't know, man. And also, like I said, this is the daughter of Cassidy, who was in Fallout 2. If you go watch my Fallout 2 series, you'll see a follower that we use called Cassidy. And this is his daughter, which is pretty gosh darn neat. So let's make a new save so we don't mess anything up. And hello. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? What the hell does that mean? Okay, so here's where we're going to have to pick our options really carefully. John Baptiste and Freeside want to meet with you. So we don't want to trick her. If that happens, we're kind of working for the Van Graffs who don't have anything good on their minds. Interested in uh, following me to Freeside? Same thing as that. Uh, let's see. Crimson Caravan sent me. They want to buy out your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. 
Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Wait, what happened to your caravan? <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So even if you have nothing, you won't sell? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. I have the offer letter here. The terms are fair. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros. And I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Yeah, so there you go. Dad uh, referring to Cassidy. Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right trading history for a slip of paper. Oh boy, okay, so we got two barters, which we won't be able to do. We got a 50 speech and we got a 75 speech. Uh, this app is the last place you want to be trapped if you made the caravan you're responsible for killing it? Huh. Well, just because this is much higher, I'll go with that one. If you made the caravan, you're responsible for killing it. What did you just say to me? Because you sure as hell got my attention now. Uh, was that bad? <laughs> I may be honest, but at least I'm not blinded by pride. That's fair. But there's been that voice inside me saying the same thing, and Whiskey wasn't killing it. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. What do you do now? No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You could come with me. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Do you really want to stay in this shithole? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago. When that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. Alright. I'm in. Cass has given you the Whiskey Rose perk. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Bring the Cassidy girl to John Baptiste? How about no? Although I do think we're going to have to do it. But I do think there is a... Uh... I think there's a peaceful way to solve, hopefully. If not, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> uh, but now we have Cass as a follower, so there you go. Let's take a look at her perk, shall we? Whiskey Rose. While Cass is a companion, she and the player gain damage threshold when they drink whiskey. Additionally, the player does not suffer intelligence loss from consuming alcohol and ignores the negative effects of alcohol addiction. Wow. <laughs> you know something? I've been stockpiling whiskey. Well, at least three. And, uh, I didn't even think about that. So for anybody that, that thinks I had a master plan to get cast and then use her perk, uh, I, I, I totally did. Yeah, that, uh, it all, uh, it all came together. Yeah. Okay, what the hell do we do now? Um... So, tell Alice McLafferty that the Crimson Caravan Company now owns Cassidy Caravans. Okay, I think we need to go do that first. Uh, we can bring... Cass to the to the uh, Van Graffs to try and trick her, uh, which we don't want to do. You know that's not really that's not really what Avery would do. That's, he's not he wouldn't be tricking a fine lass like Cass, uh, although she is kind of rough around the edges to be honest. But still, he definitely doesn't take advantage and tries to uh, yeah tricking people. Uh, you okay? Doesn't try to trick people basically is what I'm trying to say. Welcome back. Cassidy Caravans has been bought out and is now power, now part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Okay, 650 experience points, a level up. I think we got some caps up there, I think 500. More NCR fame. 
Is there anything else you need me to do? Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old Sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there. Locate the bottle cap press and disable it. I had some questions about the bottle cap currency. What would you like to know? Let's talk about something else. Goodbye. Okay, uh, we are gonna max out science. Bam, we can get into any computer now and any lock. Now what else do we ma- oh, energy weapons, obviously. Yeah, we wanna go ahead and max that for damage. Uh, there, there's only some, like, medicine and repair will help us out as well, but I think it's better in our interest to max out energy weapons first and foremost. No perk. And let's get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go into the bunkhouse to see if we can sleep in one of the bunks to get some free healing. Now, I do think we need to do this Pressing Matters quest before... Ah, sweet. I think we need to do this Pressing Matters quest before we do anything else. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that is not why I, I grabbed the Sarsaparilla bottling plant. Although, again, if you think that's why, then, uh, yeah, my master plan's coming together again. <laughs> Okay, uh, oh no, is this glitch now? Oh man, okay. Well, some stuff like this is unavoidable. Uh, I don't know if this is forever glitched. I guess maybe we just do this until Cass likes us, maybe? Or, I don't know. But either way, pressing matters, disable the bottle cap press. So we're gonna go to Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters where we grab that location and give this a shot. Let's go ahead and save the game. We probably wanna go grab Rex too, but eh. We'll grab Rex later on. And in we go. Now, is this what I was thinking of? It should be, right? Yeah. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Wrangle up a stool and listen to old Festus jaw a while. If you and old Festus are old pals, say a command now. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you. We'll get acquainted. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Place to meet you. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are, and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say, star info. If you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoes, say, I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say, silly old advisory. <laughs> silly old advisory. Silly old advisory. While Sunset Sarsaparilla is perfectly safe, a recent independent study, whose validity is currently being challenged, revealed the following. Excessive ingestion of sarsaparilla can lead to deleterious effects, including, but not limited to, kidney damage, nausea, digital numbness, anxiety, Loss of visual acuity, dizziness, occasional nosebleeds, joint inflammation, tooth decay, sore throat, bronchitis, organ rupture, and halitosis. Note that you'd have to drink a heap of sunset sarsaparilla to match the quantities used in the study. <laughs> How much, you ask? A lot. A whole hell of a lot. In fact, you'd have to get full as a tick on Sunset Sarsaparilla to even come close. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, partner. And keep drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Classic company in a Fallout game that Shh, is... We're hunting. Awful. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab a good thumbnail of Festus over here Shit. real quick. Uh, let's see, Fest. I kind of want to get your, yeah, I want to get your whole deal going, if you don't mind. Thanks, partner! Okay, so this, when I first saw this, I was so excited as a, as a high school kid. Um. Howdy, partner! 
Okay, so we're gonna go with, uh, I feel lucky. If this is your first rodeo with the old horseshoes, say, how do I play? Otherwise, say, lucky horseshoes to begin. How do I play? Lucky horseshoes is played with cards number two through ten and aces, which have a value of one. You and old Festus will take turns drawing cards. Each time we draw a card, we add it to our total, trying to hit the magic number of 21. If either of us draws a card that brings our total up to the same number as the other, it pushes the other player's total up one. When this happens, it's called Lucky Horseshoes. Old Festus thought of the name himself, I'll have you know. <laughs> when one of us is closer to 21 and the other can't get any closer, either by going over or because he or she held, the closer player wins. Old Festus likes the game because there are no ties in Lucky Horseshoes. If someone's sitting pretty on 21, Lady Luck can still bump them off. But enough jolly. By now, you're as eager as I am to get tossing. You're right about that, old Festus. Uh, Lucky Horseshoes. All right, let's play, partner. Press the blue button to draw a card, the red button to hold, or the yellow button to quit. <laughs> it's yellow to quit. I like that. Uh, like a yellow belly. Uh, okay, so this is basically just blackjack, right? But if they match you, you can you can lose. Uh, okay, let's draw. Looks like you got a ten, partner. Old Festus must be getting old. You're leaving me in the dust. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got a four, partner. Drat! Old Festus needs more than that to catch you. Your turn, partner. Draw, hold, or quit. Okay, don't know much about gambling, but I mean, blackjack's pretty straightforward, so we're gonna draw again. Looks like you got a third. Hold. Let's drag. Okay, so we're at 13, so we're gonna draw again. Looks like you got. Hey, you're done. Look. You're uh, so he's at what? He's at 9 plus 3 plus 4, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, I mean, we're close, right? And what am I at? I think I'm at, like, 17. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's go for it. Looks like you got Ooh, nice! Lucky horseshoes! You just nosed old Festus total up one. And don't worry. Old Festus. Wow, so he's at 21, and we're just gonna lose unless we draw a what? A what? A, a, we have to draw an ace. I don't know how luck factors into this, by the way. And we have, like, max luck, so... Looks like wow! <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Lucky Wait, what? Yeah, looks like you win. Oh. Old Festus just couldn't match those keen skills of yours. Here's your reward. If you'd like to play again, say, play again. If you're done humiliating poor old Festus in his own game, say, I'm done. Okay, I see. Yeah, so he got up to 21, but because we're so gosh darn lucky, we literally drew a 21, and that knocked him up. Whenever you tie in lucky horseshoes, it knocks the other player up one, so he went up to 22, and he lost. Uh, I'm done. That's too bad. Old Festus was looking forward to a good tussle. Okay, now, one more thing. Howdy, partner. Star info. Oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there, and what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows, except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them, and you can win a prize. So. Get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. Okay, so that's Festus' whole whole deal. And we get the Legend of the Star uh, quest, which I think, does it tell us what we need to do? 
Uh, the Legend of the Star. Return to Fest with enough Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Caps to earn a prize. Now, I don't remember exactly what the number is, but I think it's either like 30, 40, or 50. I know it's a lot, so we definitely don't have them now. In fact, let's see, how many do we have? Should be a miscellaneous, I think. Sunset, star, yeah, we have 13. It's either 20 to 50. I don't remember the exact number, but we'll keep an eye out for it. All right, so yeah, Festus, like I said, the first time I saw that, I was so intrigued and just, you know, it just really brought up my appreciation for the game. Uh, we're going to take a lot of Sunset Sarsaparilla here as well, just to get, you know, chances at some of those blue caps. Did not want to do that. Whoopsie-daisy. Uh, we're looking for that press, though, to help uh, Alice McLafferty, and I don't know exactly where it is. A lot of our... Uh, a lot of things here are barred off, and there are some robots. Attempt to apprehend. Yeah, there's some robots prowling the area as well. Man, look at all this stuff that's barred off. Okay, so we're going to have to be careful. Robots can be highly damaging sometimes. Not all the time. Look at all these sunsets. Sunset Sarsaparilla cans. Okay, we've got a fella over there, which we definitely want to interact with. Let's go ahead and do that. After we take care of this robot up ahead. Okay, he's got some energy cells. We're looking for a sensor module. Let's remember that. Oh, no, did you take out the... Broken bottling robot. Okay, he might have actually helped us. I didn't want him to aggro, but I don't see a way around that. Uh, is this not the press? Sunset Sarsaparilla. Okay, we're going to take some of these. We're going to drink all of these in a second, by the way. And see how many blue caps we get. Where is the actual press, man? I guess we must have to go upstairs. Yeah, so, many of this, so much of this place is destroyed. Oh, and Pip-Boy Light. Sorry. I keep forgetting. With protocol. Wow, that robot was really oblivious. And I was really inaccurate. Fission battery and scrap metal. You were looking for a sensor module. Uh, we dropping down here, maybe? Looks like this just leads back to exactly where we just were. Man, where do we... I don't think we have to... Got one. Okay, good luck, Cass. Where am I going? Nice one, Cass. Uh, let's go this way. Restrooms. Okay, this looks good. Let's go to the end of the hall here. Uh, anything over this way? Open desk. Not seeing anything. There's probably some unique stuff in here. I'm not really sure, to be quite honest. Uh, oh, yeah. It looks like we want to drop down here. Broken personal assistant. Uh, with some whiskey. Yeah, so we'll look for any chances to grab some whiskey. And we'll try to pop them for any sort of boss battles. Because we'll get some buffs. Uh, we have a terminal with a very easy lock. So let us try that. Well, that was easy. God, we're getting lucky with these terminals. Holy crap. By the way, the, the more science you have, the less uh, options there are to pick wrong answers. Okay. Uh, welcome, Miss Page. President of New Ma Okay, looks like this is just some backstory. We might uh, do that later on. For now, I kind of want to just get to the thing and turn in Alex McLafferty's quest if we possibly can. Uh, if I can figure out where the hell we're going. Oh, this looks good. This lock cannot be picked. It requires a key. Interesting. Okay, oftentimes, you know, some of the, the terminals like that will give you hints as to where the key is. So, I suppose we will read it instead. Unless it's in the desk. No. Okay, what do we got? Okay, Sunset Sarsaparilla Company, intranet. Welcome, Miss Page. The president has no new messages since the last time you logged in. So this must be the president's secretary. Checked, saved, inbox messages. What contest? From Nathan Stanley, director of PR subject. What contest? Body, sir, the rumors of some sort of contest are quickly growing out of control. We're getting flooded with calls and messages asking if it's true we've re we're redeeming bottle caps for prizes. Do you want me to make an official statement denouncing this rumor? So it sounds like the Festus quest... Sounds similar to Festus Crex, huh? Uh, is made up. How's your new toy? From Lucas Nash, VP of Sales, Robco Corp. Subject. Corp, how do you like your new toy? Uh, Kenneth, I hope you've been impressed th thus far with your recent purchase. Your company has been and continues to be a valued customer. Contact me if you have any questions. Okay. And then we have set messages. What contest? Uh, Stanley, are you out of your mind? Have you seen the latest sales figures? We're up 300% since these rumors started, and you're asking if I want you to make it stop? Please stop by my office so we can further discuss the issue. Ouch. 
Okay, so the president wants the contest to keep going even though there is no contest. While the iron is hot. So Marcus Brody, VP of Tech, subject while the iron is hot. Body, Marcus, I have a few ideas about how we can turn this whole contest situation to our advantage. I'm going to need you to work with the advertising guys on a very special project. A meeting request will be sent out soon. By the way, how do you feel about Cowboys? So that is the inception of Festus there. Re, how do you like your new toy? Lucas, I couldn't be happier with the performance of the new model. If its current performance is any measure, it promises to reinvent my company's entire distribution network. I'd like you to tentatively discuss purchasing a few more in the near future. How soon do you expect more to become available? Not sure what that new toy is referencing. We got no word about a key. Huh. Oh, there's a safe, though. Okay. Didn't look at the safe. Yeah. Pre-war money, scotch, and sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. Oh, I think there are some uh, star bottle caps uh, by themselves in this facility. Uh, boy, I don't know where to go to find the key. Um, it could be anywhere, man. It could literally be anywhere. Uh, sometimes they're literally just in these, like, filing cabinets. So, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go back and take a look at them, I guess. Or, yeah, try to figure it out. Uh, what about these cabinets? They're empty. And then I wanted to check if we could uh, interact with this thing. No. Yeah, we definitely need to get in there. That's where the press seems to be. But we're missing a key. Okay. There's a tool cabinet here. Yeah, I feel like sometimes they make the keys spawn randomly. Um, but also in set locations. But, you, you know, you can also get them in, like, certain spots. Uh, oftentimes they are just on desks. And you have to keep a good eye out because, obviously... Uh, spotting a little tiny key could be tricky. Uh, would they be in the bathrooms? We'll do a cursory glance here before we move on and just figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna take the empty syringes. Uh, jeez, where would this be, man? Let's go down here. That's a dead end. Oh, this is locked with a very hard... Oh, this probably goes into where we want to go. And we do have a hundred lockpick. God, those sweet spots are tricky, man. Everybody says I'm always bad at this, and I, I don't feel like I am. Uh, you know, you have to take into account the pressure of doing this quickly while on camera. You know what I mean? Okay, what do we have in here? Some scrap metal. Uh, yeah, we're looking for the desks, too. Nothing in the desks. And then we have a terminal. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Brody. Check automated messages. Go to page one. Reports a servo failure, all systems okay, line malfunction, oil maintenance needed, weapon malfunction. Okay, weapon okay, go to page two. Actuator failure, minor structural damage, a line malfunction, oil maintenance needed, line malfunction, report all is okay, and activity. Page three. Reports an intruder, reports major structure, structural damage, blah, 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 intruder, intruder. Okay. Why was this behind a very hard lock? I don't know if this is really telling us anything. Uh, all right. Is there any sort of passcode or... I'm very surprised that we're not finding anything significant in here unless I'm just not seeing it. No key, really. That surprises the hell at why was this very hard? It didn't seem like there was much of a point at all. Um, okay, well, we got this long-ass hallway, right? Let's make sure to loot the robots, too, because they also might... Oh, there we go. No, we've already been in here. Um, jeez, what the hell do I do? I don't know where to go to find this dang key, y'all. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, see you guys in a second. Okay, folks, so after much searching, uh, much searching and not coming up with anything, I figured out that that big-ass door, which I'm sure all of you probably were thinking while I was trying to open it, is actually related to the legendary star bottle cap quest thing. So it is completely unrelated to this quest, which means we just need to find our way back to that bottling. Why is there an enemy now? What in the hell? I think it's literally just right over here. Uh, near one of the... What? Okay, looks like we need to find a way to get past this door into the other section. But I mean, these are presses. I am so freaking confused. We need to get, like, over there. Yeah, past this wall. I guess. Yeah, there's, like, an enemy. What? This is so confusing. Okay, so let's just try to go left. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Why did I not see this? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, this is where we want to be. Bye-bye. Ah. 
you just say bitch for no reason? And bye bye. Okay, yeah, that was super duper confusing. Sorry for the mix up. Uh, yeah, we'll come back to that door later on though for sure. Okay, probably an absolute ton of sunset uh, sunset sassability to be grabbed here, but here is the press. The grease on the bottle cap press is fresh, indicating that someone used it recently. Uh, strip all the important looking bits out of the machine. Bam, we got three scrap metals for that, and that is that. Okay. God, that was confusing. Uh, we have a lock terminal here. Uh, just for the sake of time, we're going to subvert that one for now. Probably more backstory. Probably some shipping mess-ups and things. You know, just some interesting backstory. We probably loot all these uh, these boxes here for some more Sunset Star Sasquatch. And I was hoping that was the door, and indeed it was. So we are going to go ahead and drink all. So we have 14 caps now, right? Let's go to these and drink literally every one. I'm gonna go back to this. Do, was it 13 or 14? I don't even remember. Did we like only get one or none at all? That's really bad luck. Okay, let's return to Alice, finish this quest off, and end this. Now we need, I know these aren't the most interesting quests, but we needed to do them in order to make sure Heartache by the Number and, uh, Heartache by the Number and the Van Graaff quest goes correctly, I think. Hopefully, again, I haven't messed anything up. If we did, I'll try to use console commands just because heartache by the number, if it doesn't change, I think it is going to be glitched. I hope it's not. Maybe we'll just need to do stuff with Cass until Did it you works. Know this Welcome back. The bottle cap press is no longer a problem. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Okay, 130 experience, NCR fame, 500 bottle caps added. And I guess that's it for Alice, McLa Alice McLafferty. Welcome back. Yeah, nothing else. Okay, bye-bye. And I think we'll end this episode with one little line from Cass. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. Oh, wow! I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. See, this is how they needed to do all of the companion quests, man. You just get them. You know, you like do a thing and they just get them, and there's no risk of, you know, never get never being able to do those. Where was your caravan hit? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, here tell. Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Think there's anything left? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Let's go then. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. I've heard enough. Let's move on. All right, then. Sweet. Well, that was easy. Okay, there we go. Looks like everything's going according to plan. Thank you so much for watching this week of Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much to the people supporting me. What I do, like liking the videos, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos, and going even the extra mile, becoming a sub on Twitch, or becoming a patron over on Patreon. I really do appreciate it, and it helps me to do this stuff full time. This, week, uh, this year has been pretty freaking stressful. Uh, Enderall didn't do so hot, so I was kind of scared there for a while. So I really, really, really do appreciate that stuff if you decide to support me in that way and also just watching and of course liking the videos uh doesn't cost anything and it helps me as well so thank you very much if you do that stuff and remember i do stream on twitch every monday wednesday friday at 4 p.m to 9 p.m mountain time currently at the time of this recording my girlfriend and i are doing a borderlands 3 uh blind playthrough so you know uh, if you want to see that come check it out i'm a variety streamer so we do lots of stuff thanks so much for watching and i will see you next week bye bye